I'm the shortest person on stage tonight, and I keep ruining for everyone else by making the microphone really low. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it up there, and I'm going to introduce our next act. He's been doing comedy for three years. He's journeyed all the way from Gawler. I don't know where Gawler is. <laughs> Please welcome Mark Ryan. <laughs> I want to address a social issue which really bugs me, really bugs me. It's profiling. If you know what profiling is, that's just a fancy pants word for judging a book by its cover. And you just wouldn't be surprised to know that I get it all the time. <laughs> oh, look at that bug in here. Probably true, but I'm just saying. I was at the police station being profiled the other day, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Jumped in straight away, freaking, yeah, sure you were, mate. Yeah, we know you were. No, Andy, right? I was taking a sickie from work, so I needed to get the stat deck signed. I wanted to go watch the cricket. Right? So I was at the police station, and as I was leaving, the police officer says, Mr. Ryan, stop! So I did, because the dude's got a gun. <laughs> right up in the northern suburbs, I know when someone's got a gun and they tell you what to do, you do what they say. They said, can you turn around and put your back against the wall? So I did, because the dude's got a gun. And I thought, oh no, he's going to shoot me. <laughs> and I thought, hang on a sec, no. There's a lot of land around Gawler, but I'm not going to fit in a shallow grave. <laughs> not at all. And so he said, can you take your hat off? So I did, and I kept my eyes focused on him, in case he shot me. <laughs> and then he looked over my shoulder, and he looked at me, and he looked over my shoulder, and he looked at me again, he goes, you're right, Mr. Ryan, you can leave now. I'm so inquisitive. What was he looking at? And I turned around and there was a Crime Stoppers poster. <laughs> it, broke, it broke my beautiful bogan heart. I wouldn't hurt a fly, I wouldn't even hurt a spider. Because I hate spiders, they scare the crap out of me. And I think profiling sucks because you know what? I've read the Bible, worked out. If Jesus was alive today, he'd be profiled as a bogan. Freaking oath he would. He had a mullet. He wore thongs everywhere. He went fishing all the time. And he turned water into wine at a party. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if... If there, if there is any superpower slash magic trick that a bogan could have, it would be turning water into wine at a party, wouldn't it? How good would Jesus be as a pure tap salesman? Just saying. Extra 50 bucks, I'll give you the Jesus special. It also says he's coming back one day, that Jesus is going to come back one day. I hope he doesn't come back with Nabbits and Power. Think about it. He's Middle Eastern. Probably come back on a fishing boat. Doesn't have a visa. And we'll get sent to Christmas Island, which would just be ironic! <laughs> now, now, I know humans aren't the only ones that profile, right? I know this, because I was on my computer the other day and I looked up my BMI and it had come up heart attack victim. <laughs> the sad but true. And I thought, I have to do something about my weight. I've tried to do something about my weight before once. Once I went four days without any sugar, I thought, I'm going to cut the sugar out of my life. It's just doing too much damage to me. It's the worst decision I've ever made in my life. After four days, I popped four code in before going to work because my headache was so bad. Right? Don't worry, I don't do anything dangerous. I'm just a truck driver. It's fine. I got home that day from work and I walked past the fridge and my wife had set me up because there was a block of chocolate in the fridge. So I hoovered it and I left some on my shirt for when I went to bed that night so I could just lick it in my sleep. It's pretty desperate, ladies and gentlemen. But then I had to ask this, why do I want to lose weight? Why? What makes a man want to lose weight? I've got four beautiful children at home. I love my children. Is it because of them? I don't know sometimes. <laughs> But I, it was, it was because of them, because I looked at my life and thought, I need, 
I need to change my lifestyle. It was around Father's Day, as a matter of fact. Right, I got three, three gifts. That's why I got three, because one of the kids doesn't like me that much. Right? <laughs> I accidentally farted in the kitchen once, and you shouldn't fight in the kitchen, it was an accident. It was better to put stuff in the bin, like that. And he was there, <laughs> behind me, accidentally. And my wife came in and smiled and went, who is that? I'm like, him. <laughs> Okay. But it was Father's Day and I got, I got three of the best Father's Day gifts of all time. I got a brand new Lego Batman set. Yes. I got a car my favourite beer, Super Dry. And I got, oh, I got a beautiful handwritten thing, a gift from my son. And it had my name, Mark, with a C, M-A-R-C, because I'm all about class. Right. My height, 189 centimetres, correct. Hair colour, mullet, <laughs> correct, weight, what, who put weight on that? Weight, 800 kilos! <laughs> but what got me most was, what's your dad's favourite food? Everything. <laughs> Which is incorrect ladies and gentlemen, because I hate vegetables. Thank you very much.